Pastor Luke speaking the truth of the word and reaching the youth. Saving souls of the old, doing God's work with no to do. And he turning up every week and get lit. And then in the church on Sunday, you can tune in and get your fix. Turn up, turn up. A mother who passed the test. A mother who endured the process of faith. A mother who stood, although it didn't happen the way she thought it was going to happen. It didn't come the way she thought it was going to come. A mother that endured the test because sometimes she thought all I had to do was come to Jesus and break my petition known unto him. I didn't know that before the testimony, there would be a test. And the true test of authenticity is, how bad do you want it? Family footnote, worship will get you some stuff that you don't really deserve. Worship will cause some doors to open for you that never was supposed to open in the first place. Worship will cause some ways to be made for you. And the people that bless you don't even understand how you got blessed, but worship. And see, that's why when you come to the house of the Lord, nobody should have to prompt you to worship God. Her baby is sick and she's crying out, Lord, help me. Don't you know that Lord, help me is a complete prayer? I'm talking about when you show up going through something, you don't have time for a long gated prayer. No. Sometimes all you know to do is to fall down on your knees and say, Lord, help me. I, I need you to understand that every accepted prayer is not immediately an answered prayer. That just because God don't answer you right away don't mean that God did not hear your prayer. But when your why is bigger than their words, you don't easily quit. See, the problem is some of you quit too easily. Some of you give up too easily. But when it is that what you're asking God to do is more important to you than what they said about you, then you don't walk away from your blessing. You don't walk away from your blessing just because you don't like the way it was packaged. You, 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 you don't walk away from the restaurant, from your table, just because the waiter didn't speak to you. You don't leave your job just because your boss don't like you. He didn't hire you to like you. He hired you to do a job. He hired you to do a job and you get a check. But some of us, we quit too easily. I am not going to leave my church because you frowned at me. I'm not going to leave my church because you took my parking spot. I'm preaching to somebody already. We give up too easy but when it is you really want something you stay there and you fight for what it is you want because the devil knows that he cannot take your blessing so he will frustrate you enough to walk away from it and you can't worship God when you always in control you can't even hear clearly from God when you're always in control because God can't give you his plan when you already got your own plan in your mind of how things are supposed to be. And so you continue now, you continue to use different versions of your plan, the same old plan, just different version of your plan, and you wonder why the thing don't turn out any better because his ways are not your ways and his thoughts are not your thoughts. At some point, at some point, God will let that thing get so rough in your life. I'm talking about when the pain gets shown enough bad. Come here, let me talk to you. When the pain gets bad enough, you will put your plans on the shelf. You will hang your stuff up and you will say, Father, I yield, I yield. Whatever it is you want me to do, I'll do. Whatever you is you want me to go, I'll go. See, the reason you can't shout off of that because your pain ain't been bad enough. But for those of us that have had some show enough pain, we know what it feels like to say, God, I surrender. And you understand that when I start elevating God, when I make God big, God makes my problem small. It ain't that I don't have any problems. It's just I refuse to let my problems overshadow my worship to God. It don't mean that I ain't going through anything, but when I think about his goodness and all that God has done for me, my soul cries out.